All right, Doom, are you ready for your first game of magic? So here's what we're going to do. I've got your lands laid out and your creature, um, and there's your library. Um, and uh, so you have the white deck, and over here, we've got your opponent, Crookshanks. He's going to play the black deck. Crookshanks, you have a lot of removal in your deck. There's usually like instants or sorceries that... What are you doing? No. No. Ah! Okay, well, but you're, okay, it's fine, whatever, you can play that side, I'll play this side. And so, let's go through kind of the basics here. Oh, are you coming? Oh, all right, all right, well, so, so this is what I was talking about. This is an instant, uh, it's a creature removal spell. Yeah, I guess it smells okay. Um, anyway, so I'm going to attach this, or target your creature with it. Um, so I just need you to, I'm just going to, this is the creature I'm going to, tar ow! Okay. Well, ah, well, okay, that's yours. Okay. No. But, mm, okay. So if I can just if I can just slide this this is this is the creature I'm gonna target right here. Just gonna just okay. There you go. We'll just leave that there for now. You'll get this. We've got. Yes. Like to go first. Let's see. There as our and an ether vial on turn one. Uh, we will need a at some. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of good. Pretty. Waiting for our opponent. They're mulliganing down to six. Okay. Keeping it six. Island and planes, whatever. Ether vial, go. Let it strand. Okay. Thorn Pouncer, we're gonna cast that. First of the meal. I'm going to try to counter this. Okay. We'll get down Lone Lion. In the bear. Build a ruin for our opponent, sure. Mile in loam. Line Sovereign. Okay. All right. We're going to get in there for you right now. Got our sovereign next test out. Also, wouldn't mind our opponent field arraying our castle. Opt for our opponent. And that is all. One card on the bottom. Sanctuary tapped. Love to see that. Alright, let's file in the brown side. Give our clock a little bit here. One is broadcasting some sort of path. Um do about that. Oh, Snapcaster, okay. Um, ought to work out pretty well then. We could have waited for a
Bone targeting opt. Not it this turn. Blocking four four. Happening. Okay. Um, get our word hide. We can't play it this turn. This leaves our mana for next turn. Alright, no wrath from our opponent, which is nice. Pouncer, not bad. In combat. Love that these have protection from dogs. Okay. Attack, 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 attack. Putting vigilance. Moment of the they're not blocking this turn, which means they are dead. Sure. Even even with a path here, I think they're dead. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. I don't know why I'm doing this. Cats don't have guns. Uh Bailiffs that are coming in. <clears throat> Serpapards. Also coming in. Um, I think we'll go down. Critters, they have path. Down. Sure. I don't think we're going to be ghost courting. Maybe we. Maybe we could. It's possible. But I don't think we're gonna be. Now. Can you imagine if we would play in Where's that deck? And get to destroy all of our artifacts every turn. Alright, this hand is risky, obviously, because we have a handful of three drops. Um, we have a vial, we have a temple garden. It's risky because if our opponent uh, encounter our ether vial on the way down, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. And it's too good. Here we go. Do you have it? Can you counter it? Does it land? It lands. Alright, that's great. These are being one of the most important cards against the Karma Spell Happy Deck. It's definitely what we want to be. Search for his that one at all. Okay, I would not mind drawing another land here. But no, uh, we don't. So we're doing nothing. Okay, well. I'm gonna give our opponents time to build up their stuff. It's 
funny is this will get rid of the Ascanta eventually before they can do anything with it. Okay, well, we have no lands. We have a fucking stack of wards that. We should discard. Oh no! <laughs> uh. Hmm. I guess we're gonna go one King of the Pride? I want Prowling Super Bard, I want Pride Mage. For Mets. Yeah, so we'll just go a Lord. Uh. So many. Our opponent getting rid of. I wonder if they have a wrath. Oh, they're gonna intrude. That's the kind of deck. For one. Okay. That is fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful about the miracle wrath. We do have a ton. All right, so we're going to get in with Pride Mage, uh, and then we're going to flash in King of the Pride if our opponents do nothing. Or if they do anything. Yeah, they're not doing it. Uh, okay. In that case, we're going to flash in King of the Pride. Um, the path is likely. Uh, though I would have thought it more likely if it did block. That's fine. Don't get the land from the path. Um, which obviously we could we could use right now, but I think it's more important to take our opponent off that as Kanta. Three miracles, a little too much. Mystic Sanctuary, that's a little unfortunate. Yep, yeah, back their path. They are attacking, okay. And they just have a wrath here. No, they do not. Yep. So we know that Oh no. We just lost this. Can't believe it did that. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to scoop. Oh, that was that was bad. It was very bad. Hmm. 
emergency spell is now useless. I think maybe... I don't, mm, I don't even know. Moment of the Siege. I mean... Yeah. That's what you get for... Going thing, through things too quickly. Another omen of the game. So our opponent has their path. Means probably some sort of entreat for many. Or wrath. In which case we will scoop. I don't know what I was... Was not thinking? Was not thinking? The fairy. Okay. Getting rid of Serpifard. I think. Right. I biffed this one pretty hard. Pretty hard. any coming back from that. Yeah, obviously we're not gonna attack, our opponent's gonna pass. We've got Teferi on board here. Hmm, okay. Okay. Um so like, do we want our relics here? if I want to cut any more cats. Oh, you know what? We can cut a couple of paths. Forgot we were running the full four in this list. So, yeah. We'll bring it like that. That's a little better. Um... We're not, we're not pathing angels. At least not generally. What we want to be doing. Yes. Would like to play first. Okay. Hand is fine. Not amazing. Need more lands for sure. But we've got a lot of gas, so we're starting with a vial. Bonus is back. Um Yeah, they had a lot going on, obviously. Um But we certainly would have done a lot better than we did by taking up a vial. Colonnade, great land. Just a land, please. Good land. Um, great two in case they have fetch lands. Obviously, they can just pass them, but they get us a land. We'll get a forest, of course. Please say you have a fetch land. Oh, they're gonna path right away. That's great. Uh, snow covered forest. Us. They did have the flooded strand. Okay. Alright. Keep vial. <clears throat> Three. This game. And put row. Land. Um, in this case. In this case, we're gonna play. It doesn't matter. We're gonna play Serpa Bard here. Alright. <clears throat> Get in there with Loam Lion. And there we go. Oh, stony silence. 
Okay. Got another colony. Okay. I mean, that's annoying. For sure. For sure. I don't know that... I don't know that it's worth it. Bring in against us. I have any good here. Okay, we're gonna get Brimez down this turn. We have ways of getting rid of the stone silence too, so not the end of the world. Very time wrap. Sure. We do this wrong. Always no. Always yield. Did three. Right, there we go. Okay. Um, this is nice too because we can get that. And oh no. We on the creep tonight. Uh, okay, so we'll attack the fairy, attack our opponent. Romez creates. Okay. Um, do we extend out here? Is the question. I think maybe what I'll do is I'm just gonna play. The prime. Um, end of their turn, we can get rid of this stony silence or whenever we feel like we need to. Because we've got Brimid out, I don't think we need to rush things because we're just going to build up our board. Plus, we have our opponent dead if they don't do anything. Can't activate Colonnade. Need two more lands for that. Okay, so our opponent's probably got some paths. I'm in our way. Um, so we're gonna get rid of that. Yes, I know we technically had lethal. Um, but we have I mean Our opponent definitely has to have some sort of answers. So uh so let's get out the prowling serpapard. No counter from our opponent. We have it in. That's staying on three. King of the Pride is a pretty good draw here. Um, uh, we can also activate Gavany. Yeah, so let's just get in. We're not going to play anything else. See what our opponent can do. Where they have to like pass one of our creatures and so the Lord we vile out. Yeah, flashing into that's fine. They could miracle a thing. No miracles. Okay. How many paths do you have? Yeah, no, they're dead. Definitely, definitely dead. The cat. Doom and the cat. Alright. Pinja again. Alright, we got a matchup against Gossamer Glen. We're playing some green white kitties with the new updated kitty lord, Feline Sovereign. Uh and this hand is poop. Kitty poop. What about our change in the river? Uh this hand. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. 
I think we're going to put back a vial. I don't think we need three vials, but, you know. I'll take two. I'll take two. That's fine. Put a foothills for our opponent. Cracks it. Gets a stomping ground. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're up against Dredge. Up against Dredge. All right. Uh, this will be interesting then. I don't know. I don't know how this goes. Gavity Township, not too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double Creeping Jill. Double. Okay. Why not? Why wouldn't you have Double Creeping Jill? Okay, that's fine. Um, we're down to 14. Let's see what else our opponent gets. Cathartic Reunion, Shriekhorn. Okay, so no Dredger yet. Do you like... Do you like that? Do you like that? We're not doing anything at our end step. We are going to take up our Vile. Yes. Uh, so question is... Our opponent's on one man. Which doesn't actually mean anything. I think we're going to get the second vial out here. Our opponent's kind of going slow right now, so I think we're okay. To get out the second vial. We could get out the, the Arbiter. And then if they have a fetch land next turn, you know, that they pull off, then they're still stuck on one land. But <sighs> Dredge doesn't care about their lands. Like, yes, they need some kind of occasionally to play magic uh but generally they're just they're doing things they don't care about lands they have they have ways to get lands back from the graveyard or haggle okay discarding stinkweed imp so they have the dredge our opponent is off to the races let's go ahead and pull out their yard here ox of agonis is in there uh the only good thing they got was ox of agonis are they still stuck on one land, is the question. Wizards, print a cat that gets rid of the graveyard. Okay, Life from the Loam, Prized Amalgam. Okay, alright, well, we're not dead yet. We want to tick up both of these vials. Okay, our opponent is still on, on one mana. I do like that. Um, so we're going to get out Arbiter. Hope that it screws up our opponent's mana situation. I mean, they can get back life alone, get back their lands, but nothing we can do about that. So, yeah, end of turn, we'll, we'll flash in a, a Kasali Pride Mage and... Uh, Mage? Yeah, okay. I don't remember if it's Pride Mage or Pride Mate. Another Haggle. Okay, so our opponent's going to find their lands. We're also going to discard their Dredgers. I'm discarding Stinkweed Imp. Guarding a lot of lands. Guarding a lot of lands. Okay, well we just have to hope that they didn't get a land that is usable on their turn. Okay, okay. They have a removal spell. It does not look like they have the removal spell. So that is pretty good for us. Okay. We're going to take up both of our vials once again. Yes. And yes. Beast main lion. Okay. Um... Go to combat. I will say our opponent has gotten pretty unlucky with their with their dredges here. Um I wanna get Brimaz out and then flash in the feline sovereign next turn, which is why I didn't do that. Free combat. Um, and then we'll probably also get in the Pride Mage. 
Yeah, and there's an Arc Amoeba. Okay. Their opponent is going to get back their stuff. They only have one prize amount right now in their yard. Right? Oh, no, there's two. Okay. There's two. So they get back two, but... Well, I mean, they did Creeping Chillus twice, so that hurt. For sure. Yep, here comes Prize Amalgam. Completely tapped. Oh no! Didn't. Hmm. Mm. Judge the cat's not on my playing ability. Cause apparently, pretty bad. Uh. Okay. Um. Always now. Yeah, that was that was bad, for sure. Here we go. Let's go attacking. Attack with both. Down to fifteen. Um. Yeah, we'll say go. Okay. Go ahead and flash in um, a Brumaz here. And also, I'm going to do the Fleece Main Lion. Um, okay, our opponent is haggling. Another, th another dredger in the yard is fine. Okay, let's go to blocks. Do a block here. We're gonna take four. That is okay. We'll kill an amalgam. It'll come back at some point. Interestingly, I think the Leon and Arbiter is actually saving. funny. Honestly, did not think it would. Oh, they did not kill the token. That's interesting. Okay, so next turn they're gonna have two mana to be able to pay for Arbiter. Um, so we'd almost like a second Arbiter here. I think we're gonna take up this second vial to three, as we have so many three drops and we have two lands. We can play most of our some of our three drops. We have, we have two three drops, so I would like. I'd like to be able to get both of those out. We're gonna draw land. Yep, there it is. Um, okay. Can we just kill our opponent here? Attack, 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 attack. Remez do his thing. Okay. There's no blocks. Yes. Get out Pride Sovereign. Or Feline Sovereign. And... They didn't even want to see it. They didn't even want to see it. I suppose we probably just had him dead with that. We probably didn't even need it. I didn't even count. Who counts their damage anyways? What's, what's Where's the fun in that? Okay. Um, We got relics. We got two relics. I think it's hard to say because like the meta has not shaken out yet, so I don't really know exactly. But I think probably we don't need Leyline. I mean, if Storm is a thing, then maybe you do. But you might want to switch that for just another Relic because Relic is also decent against Storm. Uh, so maybe like another Relic, another Veil of Summer might be actually just better. Um, and you could also run the uh, the life gaining Storm spell. If we're worried about that. But I think Leyline may be not the best thing right now. Uh, okay, so what are we cutting here? I think probably we'll cut Sacred Cat and Adorn Pouncer since we are going to get rid of Graveyards, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. I will say, our opponent did have a pretty slow draw as far as Dredge goes. So we'll see how we do this round. Do we keep this? Do we keep this? It's, it's got, it's got our lord.
Or we'll try it. We've got a Ghost Quarter Arbiter. I don't know if that's... You know, an Arbiter kind of saved us last game because they could never get up to two mana to get out like Ox and do all sorts of shenanigans there. I don't know if it's actually that good, though. We'll find out. Right now. Okay. Nothing for turn one. Uh, Temple Card tapped. There we go. Let's see if our opponent has a haggle here. Doesn't seem to. What did they do? Oh no, oh, that's that also fun. Yeah, no haggle. Okay, so that's good. That's good. No haggle, no whatever artifact thingy that they play. Very nice. Do have a second land. Not playing anything. Okay. I mean, we're gonna hide the ghost quarter, but we are gonna throw down arbiter. No reason not to. And we should probably bring in settle for this matchup. Exiling all their stuff. Instant speed seems okay. Maybe it's not good enough. Maybe it's too slow. This dredge, the dredge right now does not seem to be like crazy fast dredge. It seems to be three corn. Three corn is fine. It means we are gonna get to ghost quarter. I oh, don't know. They got to. They got the. Thing. And they get an archimiba. That is fine. Archimiba, we're not afraid of here. We'd really like them to tap one more land, but they're not going to. Suppose we probably put a should have no lord. They're gonna block. They have a, they have a one damage. Whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna get down a lord. Since they have three mana here, not super worried. Anyways. And protection from talks, so. No dog. Okay, we're gonna mill some more cards. Let's pull out our yard here. There's an amalgam. I'm really surprised they blocked with the Narcomy, but not sure what that was about. We don't have any flying blockers. So. Life from the loan. Um, so they got Brian Meyer. Wood of Foothills, Forgotten Cave. I mean, they have a dredger in the yard. That's, I think, their biggest thing there. Ugh, file. File. Um, all right, let's get out. Bright Sovereign number two. Feline Sovereign. Bright Sovereign's different card. Um, and let's go to combat. I'm swinging for seven here. Bow, bow. Meow, meow. Sort of... Oh, Cycling the Forgotten Cave. Okay. Great. This card's a lightning act. Oh, they milled. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, Blast Zone. Silver Moat. Oh, interesting. That's, that's interesting with... Um, Creeping chill. I don't know if it's good enough, because, like, how else do you get it back? But, sure. Any creeping chill. Oh, we also get, get rid of their Shriekhorn this turn. That seems pretty fun. I mean, they only have one more use out of it, but hey, we got rid of it, so... Next turn, we have Lethal. They just don't do anything here. I mean, obviously, you know, any removal spell takes Lethal off of the board, I think, but we're fighting our way through Dredge. I, I will say, again, they've had a very slow draw. Like, this is, this is very slow for Dredge. I don't know if this is just the new Dredge or if this is just a, a below average draw for our opponent. 
Um, because for them to have zero creatures on the board and it's turn five, like that's that never happens. Conflagrate. Conflagrate is zero. Okay. Okay. Gonna you know, we'll wipe my board here. That was. Okay. How many things can they kill here? I think you can only kill one of the boards. Oh, they're just going for Arbiter? Okay. I mean, next turn, we hit for... N. It's interesting. I would not think Arbiter would be even good in this matchup. But it has seemed to, to kind of mess with our opponent a little bit. Uh, if they had shot that in, we could have killed them. Obviously, that would probably mean that they have things to do, but... Okay. Um... Oh. Not pathing our own creature, please. All right, King of the Pride. And uh, let's go for 10. Alright, so we have, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. We definitely have lethal here. Yeah, you can get back some lands. Guess they can cycle. Yeah, they can cycle Forgotten Cave to draw. They dredge. I guess they're probably looking for Creeping Chill. Yeah, Blast Zone doesn't do anything for you right now. Not see our pup. Talk to him. again. Alright, we got a game against Desert Fox 85, and we won the die roll. Sure. Sure, we'll keep this. We'll keep this. It's not, not the most exciting hand, but it's not bad. I would much rather one of these cards be a vial, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh. And we're playing cats and modern, so what you gonna do? Forest for our opponent, Llanowar elves. Okay, some sort of rampy, rampy ramp. There's not terrible, just a two drop here. Um, I think I'm fine with this trade. Obviously, we could wait and could get bigger next turn. Um, clearly they're trying to ramp, so I feel like we're trying to trade. Yeah, and they don't want to give it to us, so. Another forest for our though. Opponent. Words. Opponent. Leaf champion can't be blocked. Okay. Path is pretty okay as well. So do we path and do nothing else at all, or do we? I think we want to get out more bodies. We don't. I mean, like, yeah, they can. They can attack us next turn. Um. So we draw a land next turn, that way we can play King of the Pride and then pass the big guy there. It seems to be on some sort of mono green stompy list. Big fan of those kind of decks myself. As you all know. Elves. Oh, it's... It's elves. 
Interesting, interesting. Land. Please land. Not a land. Okay, well, that's something else we could do. So we can... What would we do here? So, we can attack him with Pride Dog. They block with Steel Leaf. Path Arc Druid. Conversely. Path Arc Druid. They still have Steel Leaf. This. Oh. They don't have a million mana. Uh, as much as I want to pass Steel Leaf Champion, I think we have to pass Path Arc Druid. Well, let's just put out Vile. Do we offer the trade with Steel Leaf? I think maybe. Or do we just make little cats? And we just make little cats. Let's make little cats. We can take a hit here. Path Arc Druid, they can't search. Tapped out. I, mean, I guess they have the, the land where else, but that cannot tap for two. Um, and then we're going to exert. We're going to make some cats. It also gives them lifelink, so next turn when we put down King of the Pride, we can attack for six with lifelink. Uh, pretty okay. Obviously, we cannot block. We will take whatever damage they can give us with this Steel Leaf Champion. So if they make it huge, they make it huge. Um, but we use our mana efficiently, and we affected the board quite a bit. So I think that's better than just playing King of the Pride. Beast Whisperer. Okay. Attacks. No attacks. Okay. Uh, what do we want here? We want many things. Like another path. Adorned Pouncer. Or do we play? I think we just play King of the Pride here. Don't like that they have Beast Whisper. So let's just get this down. We can play Adorn Pouncer and King of the Pride next turn. No. So. Uh, we're not gonna attack here either. I don't. Think. They don't have any. I mean, they probably don't have any extra removal. Seeing as it's a mono green elf deck. Looks like somebody's awake, so we might have a guest on the channel here. Real soon. Okay. Oh, is this some sort of like. Uh oh. This is that low deck? I don't remember how this works. I remember this being a thing that. Saffron Olive Plague or something. I mean, next turn we have a huge... Yes, we will use Mr. Miles' ability. Can we township? Bad. Bad. Um... Let's play King of the Pride. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to attack. We're going to attack like that. I don't, there's some sort of combo thing happening over there for sure. For sure. Yeah, and they probably want that in the graveyard. But I don't think we can not attack. Yeah, we're gonna lose our arbiter. And not the end of the world. Let's see. Returns it to graveyard to hand, so that's never I think. We find out how wrong we are in a moment. Do they pay? 
They do. They're going to grab Steel Leaf. I guess they can grab it and play it. This is a thing they can do. Next turn, we're going to have a double striking, real big adored bouncer. Okay, so they're going to get that. They're going to play it. That's fine. Oh, they're not going to play it. There. Okay. Let's get down to Dorn. We've got a double striker. Five, three, double striker. You can also go grab Hira. Which seems pretty good. And they can see Dark. Um, there's some sort of... We bring in Relic? I don't even know. Let's just bring in Settles. I don't know what our opponent's doing yet. Um, uh, I don't think we need Sacred Cat. Don't need Serpent Bard. Run it like that. Call good. Call good. Uh, Kahira. Sand is fine. It's a little slow. But it's fine. Desert Fox, 85. Plays the forest. Land War Elves. They've got their ramp on. We have a Brimet. And go. Next turn we can get our Arbiter. I don't think we're going to be ghost quartering our opponent. I guess we could have taken out Arbiter and things. Maybe that would have been better. Ether Vial. A little late, Ether Vial. A little late. I mean, it helps with paths. We're not extra ramping them, which is... Which is a thing. Elvish Mystic. Getting in with Steel Leaf. Do they tap anything else in? Like... No. Okay. Okay. Another Ghost Quarter. Think. What do we do here? What do we do? I think what we do is we play either Vial. Then on their, on their upkeep, we're gonna we're gonna pad that steel leaf. Uh, we'll see if they pay. If they do, it kind of uses up a good chunk of their turn, gets rid of that creature. Yeah. Okay, they did not pay. Plays Forest. Two cards in hand. What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. Like that. Like that. We'll possibility. Another path. Not terrible. Um... Let's get down Pride Sovereign. And we'll say go. Uh, we're not gonna kill anything on the upkeep. It's passing the turn like that. Still two cards in hand. Ability. Hey, there's a card we can play. 
Um, let's go ahead and get down the sovereign. Uh, and then we're gonna attack for five. Actually, attack for eight. We can get in there with Arbiter. If some sort of combat trickiness they want to do, then so be it. No trickiness. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What else you got? Plays forest. Any big bad threats? Any big bad threats? All right. Got a door and pouncer out there. Say yes. Pick up on vile. Lone Lion? Lone Lion. Okay. Um... Let's get this. And let's violate. We'd like to give our things here. Plus another... Plus one, plus one. So we'll attack with some big kitties. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Our opponent's gonna block. Baby on the stream. Uh, blocks declared. No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Okay, no legal targets. Our opponent is dead! We did it! And you guess, and you guess. Oh, Narek is watching it. Um, our opponent from the previous map. Uh, we will keep this. This stop. Drop. Right, double island. Cabin drive rounds could come in handy. Our opponent's doing over there. Island. Alright, well, got a lone line here. Assuming it's not. Ten billion? Okay. Passive here in response to you. Could play anything, but I think we're going to. Took Brim as we get a bright side. Okay. 
Let's get him for two. And we'll pass the turn. The turn. Island for our opponent. Alright, we got Vile on three. Exactly where we want to be. Pride Sovereign, pretty nice. Or Feline Sovereign. Already have Pride Sovereign. Uh, okay, so in this case, let's go ahead and get in. We're gonna violate a little bit here. Go ahead and play Pride Sovereign. Cryptic Command. Oh, and they're gonna bounce our vial. Okay. Oh, nothing we can do about that. We also, I mean, do a 4 4, a 2 1. Well, that's annoying. I don't know how much I hate this card. So very much. Okay. Go to combat. What? Okay. Yeah, that's. I mean. And I can't say anything. I'm playing cats in modern, but. I mean. Sure. Okay. Um. Go. Feline Sovereign. Remand, okay. And then play Vile. Alright, so the opponent has Cryptic here. Annoying. What's up? Alright, so they're saving the Cryptic. Sure. And they're gonna, gonna use that. Our opponent's at eight, so they gotta eventually do something. Thorn Pouncer. Thorn Pouncer is okay. Combat. Actually, here we are going to just kill our opponent. Now, you know what their plan is. Dial. Or they just. Okay. Okay. Opt. Here. And our opponent's down to. Now they have two cards. They still have two cards. Opting again. Delver. Okay. That's the game plan. The land. Okay. Play Lone Lion. And we can also afford to play a Dorn Pouncer here. 
And then we're gonna. I really want to keep up the scam underground in case our opponent has like another Mystic Sanctuary or something. Paper Snag. Okay. Yeah, they flip with mission briefing on top. They are getting in. Interesting. Land. Only one way to find out. Okay. Solves. There for three. Yeah. Yeah. Takes out all cards from all graves. I guess I get to surveil this. Definitely limits their options. A vapor snap. That comes down to whatever they draw this turn. There's a serum. Drawing into ops. Okay. We've gotten something pretty good. We can do double lord here. They can counter something. We still have double lord. I guess if they have cryptic, they can counter bounce lone line, which buys them a turn again. It's annoying. For sure. Alright. Sovereign. Oh, interesting. Archmage's Charm. Yeah, I guess that, that also buys you a turn. Uh, you only get a 1-1. One -one. Um, I don't know. Maybe our opponent can do things here. Knows. Get another draw. Ding in the ice. Okay, so they have another blocker. There. Hacking in. I mean, our opponent's not dead. We are at nine. Go to combat. Um, I mean, our opponent has to block here, which means they're not going to be flipping thing in the ice. No cards in hand. The kill thing. Don't have to worry about that. Blowing up our board here. Not impossible. Our opponent digs their way out of this. Sure. Okay. Briefing. Target. Um. Draw two cards. I guess they also get to surveil first, so. See what they get. Reman meter. Okay. Yeah, chooses Archimedes Charm. I'm assuming they're gonna draw two cards here. Island for Serum Visions. I think now they need exactly Cryptic. One card on bottom, one card on top. And can see. Okay. We got there. That was a, a tough one. Okay. So Prowling Serpent Bard comes in, a Veil of Summer comes in. Actually, maybe we wanted to mulligan for a vial. 
Good. That's all right. They do not. Thing in the ice. See, that's going to be more of an issue. <clears throat> the Delver. Did he get Ghost Quarter? Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna put out Arbiter. Say go. Revealing Serum Visions. They flip. Playing the Serum Vision. Putting these two together. Sanctuary tapped. Love to see it tapped from me. Aramander, okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, get in for two. Do a double path here. So what we can do actually especially they're tapped out. Um is we can path this for free. Best removal spell in modern. Uh, and we can path this. Also for free. And we can ghost quarter. Alright. Attack. And I doubted you. Seriously, it's not actually that good. File is interesting. Go Pride Mage. I can't. Okay. Great. Play Vile. Not the most exciting play on turn four. But, uh, take it. When I'm getting closer to adapting this Terramander, not have any flying blockers. Keep the one. Take a vial. I don't only has one card. In there. Well, that's something. However, we're not going to toss our lord out to the wolves here. Play another other. There we go. Next turn, we can get out the lord and the arbiter if we want. Ooh, to vault. Fairmander coming in at us. No blocks. Our opponent going to adapt it. No. Okay. Still one card in hand for our opponent. Probably cryptic. Okay. Gets rid of one of our cats. Which is a little sad. Well, that's it. I'll take that trade. Getting in with the Terramander. If four mana and spells. They need one more spell or one more mana. Just trying to steal my vial. Cryptic. Gonna be good. Probably just run more of that card. Uh, Loam Lion. There.
Where did it get? Feel like Sovereign in there now. Um, no. No artifacts or enchantments to get rid of. Alright, so our opponent can activate Terramander. Means. 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Ugh, cats. Kitty cats. <laughs>